let's go to servlet config and servlet context servlet config object is created by the web container based on the initialization parameter specified in the deployment descriptor file or the web.xml file there has to be one servlet config per servlet then we have a servlet context which is used to share application specific data across independent web components there can be one servlet context per application the context object is accessible to all the servlets in your web application and a servlet context object is the runtime representation of the web application here are some of the methods available in servlet config we have get init parameter which returns a string containing the initialization parameters get parameter names which returns an enumeration of string objects the get servlet context which returns a reference to the servlet context and the get servlet name which returns the name of the servlet instance here is an interface called servlet context which defines a set of methods that a servlet uses to communicate with its servlet container and get attribute which returns the servlet container attribute with the given name get attributes names which returns an enumeration containing the attribute names available within the servlet context get context which returns a servlet context object that responds to a specified url on the server get init parameter which returns a string containing the value of the named context file in its initialization parameter and get init parameter which returns the names of the context initialization parameters as an enumeration let's look at a demo where we will explore and use some of these methods in the api which are part of servlet config and servlet context so we'll come back to our eclipse editor let's close some of the existing files so to summarize before we start the servlet config tells us about the configuration written for an individual servlet the config is a reference to one single servlet the servlet context however refers to application scope and parameters set in this are visible throughout the application hence it helps to share attributes across servlets or jsp pages within the application so we'll create a new project for this demo so we'll right click new dynamic web project we'll give it a name as context config demo we'll select version 2.5 so that it creates a deployment descriptor web xml file we'll say next and finish create a new package name the package as com and we'll create a new servlet inside the package let's name the servlet as servlet 1 we'll go next and we'll only select the service method and finish we'll add one more servlet we'll call it servlet 2 again we'll only select the service method and finish now if i go to the web xml file 
the config parameters for configuring a servlet always have to be given within that particular servlet tag so within the servlet 1 or servlet 2 tag context parameters however can be given anywhere inside this file since anything set as a context parameter is of application scope and can be shared across the servlets so we need to attach a config parameter for servlet 1 so we will go inside the servlet tag for servlet 1 and here we'll add init parameter we'll give the parameter a name let's call it SQL for example and let's add a parameter value which says select star from employees so we can use initialization parameters so that we can probably set up connection strings or some initial values that you want to retrieve within your servlet we'll add one more so we'll copy this and paste it again and let's call it message and let's provide a value which says hello from message attribute in servlet1 and we'll save this let's come to servlet1 and here we'll get inside the service method here we are going to say servlet config config equal to get servlet config print writer out equal to response dot get writer we'll just add the java dot io namespace on the top or package name on the top rather and out dot print and we'll say SQL equal to and now I need to access that value in the config file and we'll say get initialization parameter and the name was SQL Let's close the quotes so we pass the key we get the value and then we simply go ahead and print on a new line message equal to plus config dot get init parameter message so we've tried to get the values of both the parameters I'll hit control F11 we'll just have the context config demo hosted in Tomcat restart the server and you can see the values that were picked up from the config file select star from employees and hello from message attribute and these were the values we had actually provided in the config file which has been successfully retrieved now let's take the code let me stop this I'll just copy this code 
we'll go to servlet 2 and paste it here okay so the same code is being copy pasted into servlet 2 and this time we'll execute servlet 2 and you see the output servlet 2 is unable to read the initialization parameters because the config parameters are specific to a particular servlet so this is bound to servlet 1 servlet 1 could read it but moment you try to read it in servlet 2 they would not be available we'll now try and add some context parameters which can be accessible across the application so we'll add context param here we'll add a parameter called name with a keyword driver and parameter value for that will be let's say com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver for example make this in lowercase and save this and we'll copy this paste it again so that we add one more parameter and let's call this URL and let's give a value jdbc dot mysql dot localhost now I'll come to servlet 1 and we'll give an out dot print message with an h1 that says accessing content parameters close the h1 tag just copy this and here we'll say accessing config parameters in servlet 1 okay. we'll just add in servlet now we need to create an object of servlet context equal to get servlet context we'll just import the servlet context package and here we'll say so I'll just copy this so two out parameters the first one is driver name and we need to pick driver and for the second one we'll pick URL we'll say URL equal to and URL so that's what we've added in servlet 1 and here we need to replace this with application dot get init parameter because this comes from the servlet context and we'll just take this 
and paste it in servlet 2. So we'll try to read the same values from the context in servlet 2. Okay, here we'll just change this to servlet 2 and we'll just take this as well and put it into servlet 2 change this to servlet 2 okay let's come to servlet 1 close this and we'll try and execute servlet 1 accessing config parameters in servlet 1 so you can see since these parameters were set specifically to servlet 1 they are accessible and here again you see that the context parameters were successfully retrieved let's try running servlet 2 and you can see in servlet 2 the config parameters which were specific to servlet 1 are not retrieved but the context parameters which are scoped application wide are retrieved. So this was a demo showcasing how you can set up servlet specific config parameters, application wide specific content parameters which will be accessible across all the servlets or JSP pages that you have in the application.